All right, you guys. So now for those of you that have Divi Machine accounts, this is the section for you. It's entirely optional, so you don't have to do this part if you don't intend to give users a My Account area where they can go and review all of their submitted posts, adding custom endpoints, as well as the ability to create a wish list for your site. Then of course, this is gonna be fantastic and very applicable to a classified site. That's why we chose this topic thinking about how can we expand this the furthest to teach you guys as much as possible and what is possible with Divi Machine, Divi Machine accounts. And then if you have Divi Form Builder, that would be covered in the next chapter with Divi Form Builder, where you'll be adding and editing posts using that plugin. So let's take a quick look at Divi Machine and the backend of it. But first we'll take a look at the different features we'll be using. So. When I'm scrolling down the product page here for the Vivi Machine accounts, where you know that will have been already because you own the plugin, the two main things we are enabling here is user post management, which is the ability for users to go manage their posts, of course, from the back end of their site. But the back end is, of course, that my account area that you create that looks so much better than the stock WordPress back end, which, of course, looks or something like this that they'll see. And you know, if, if it's a user that's of the editor class or contributor class, they might only have access to the classifieds. And you know, it's not a really great experience. Like if you click on your name here in the top right, this is the My Account page essentially for just stock WordPress, it's not great. So what we'll be creating is something that looks a lot more robust and something that gives you full control is this beautiful My Account area where you can see your latest posts that you've submitted you can check out your wish list to see you know what items were wishlisted by you we've got that up there you can add and remove that that's it guys so let's go ahead and take a look at what the back end for Divi machine accounts looks like and you'll notice mostly that there's a new account area that's been added when you come in here this is where you create new endpoints essentially it is just different areas in the my account page for your users and if, you, and if you've worked with WooCommerce before, um, you'll know that they, by default, it creates endpoints for things like downloads, addresses, and all that type of user-specific information. We take it a bit further, allowing you to create any type of endpoint that you want. We're also gonna quickly take a look here at the machine account settings, which is right here. And here you define you know, the slug of your account area. So what do you want the URL to essentially be? Is it gonna be your domain? dot com forward slash my account this is going to be account is it going to be wizard club i don't know what you want to do but that's going to be entirely up to you um and then of course you know the saved objects is basically going to be the wish list where we have that and then you can do other stuff like relational features within divi machine and divi machine accounts definitely check out the documentation for more info on that we won't be covering that specifically and then layout settings you know you're just telling it you know what's the navigation layout for that page, which one's the dashboard page, which one's the login page, because we'll be building the login and register screens as well, because that's another great feature of Divi Machine accounts. And yeah, so let's go down here a little bit more. And I just quickly want to illustrate the relation here. Of course, for Divi Machine accounts, you do need Divi Machine also installed. It does not work by itself. And you can, you've got Divi Machine as the granddaddy here, and it's going to allow to show user posts show save lists. So this is the functionality based on the plugins installed, right? Divi machine accounts that you create the account area and then you have Divi form builder also installed. You can create, edit, post, and of course all the other advanced features that you get with Divi form builder. So of the core features, we're doing user post management, we'll be doing custom endpoints, we'll be doing a wish list, we'll be doing login register modules. We're not too interested in dislikes because we're positive and we'll be utilizing the Divi builder. So that's a lot of stuff that we are gonna be covering with you. You can also do some user settings, and this is another very useful feature is that you can disable the admin bar for those users so they don't see this bar up here. If I go to the front end of my site, you see this admin bar, it's not ideal to show that to people that you kinda of wanna keep in the magic walled garden, right? So you will probably always use that depending on the user class. So. That is basically all I want to tell you guys about Divi machine accounts before we dive right in and start building out some stuff. And the first thing we're going to do, of course, we want to give people access to our backend site or to their My Account area. So we're going to be building out those login and register screens coming up. See you in that lesson real soon.